Hi everybody and welcome to our show. We got lots of stuff to cover. If you are a harness racing fan, you'll want to be here because the biggest day in the sport occurred this past Saturday night at the Meadowlands, the Breeders Crown Finals. Yes. And it was racing as good as it gets. Hi everybody, I'm Steve Ross and my bunkie right here to my right is the lovely and talented Heather Moffitt, a woman who really knows her stuff. <laughs> That's right, I do. Thank you. What do you think I was going to say? <laughs> Oh, stuff. Yes. Right. <laughs> well, we're going to kick it off with the three-year-old Colt and Gelding trotting race. And it was a great race. Dewey Cheatham and Howe was 65. And you know what's going on with that? He supposedly had a throat abscess. He's had some medical maladies they're trying to work through. Ray Schnitger said he's ready to go. We'll find out. He was 65 against the field that took him on. And the only races he's lost all year has been two limbs. And he's won the finals both times. And he's in a, locked in a dog fight, or a horse fight, with some beach somewhere for horse of the year. So let's see what happened at the Meadowlands last Saturday night. Dewey Cheatham and Howe at 6-5 to five takes on a field of trotting horses. And here's how it went. Dewey has opened up. Dewey Cheatham and Howe on top with a three-length lead at the midpoint of the back stretch. In focus in the loose pocket spot, racing in second. Holiday Credit is third. Napoleon is two lengths further back, fourth. Clerk Magistrate trying to get around John Paul's legacy. Crazed is waiting for Clerk Magistrate to roll. He has to be at least eight or nine lengths from the front. Broadway Marquis jammed in. He's eighth on the inside. Make it happen third over. The half up in 56 and three. Cloud Casino trapped in tenth. Celebrity Secret, 11th on the outside. Dewey Cheatham and Howe on the far turn is a length clear. In focus is tight in the margin though in that pocket spot for Dave Pallone. Holiday credit the other tactor trainee racing in third. Clark Magistrate on the outside fourth. Crazed riding his cover as long as possible. They're now about six lengths from the lead. Napoleon set in, shuffled back. Dewey Cheatham and Howe coming through three quarters. In focus right in behind in second. 125 and four. A 58 second middle half and Dewey Cheatham and Howe turns for home and edge is away. It's Dewey Cheatham and Howe with a two-length lead. In focus is Pop to the outside, trying to get to him. Dewey Cheatham and Howe is under pressure. In focus is trotting right on by on the outside. In focus leads it. Dewey Cheatham and Howe second. Holiday credit rallying past him. Well, I don't know who was out there, but it wasn't Dewey. No, I mean, he was not that was, himself. That was not Dewey Cheatham and Howe because in focus, who sat in the two-hole behind him, went by him like he was standing still. Yeah. And, you know, when you, you got the heart of a champion, as Dewey clearly has, uh, you don't let him go that easily. And uh, to add insult to injury, he couldn't hold the belly because the other half of the Jimmy Tractor, Jimmy Tractor trained uncoupled entry was Holiday Credit, and he beat him for second. Oh, I know, I know. But, you know, it says a lot about Jimmy Tractor's horses and the way they train. And I do want to mention that Dave Pallone, it was his first Breeders' Crown win. Wow. He had hit the board several times, but finally, Dave did he get Malone gets to win. <laughs> no, but he hurt his hand hitting that board. I guess he did. Okay. <laughs> when we we'll also have later on in the show, we're going to have lots of Breeders' Crown races. It's going to be terrific, including some beach somewhere. Yeah, that's going to be great. Who also has one more letter in his name than Dewey Cheatham and Howe. <laughs> So let's stay right here at Irish Chester for Sunday's 10th race. It's the feature, as always, the Open Handicap. And with that, here's Heather. Yes, I get the feature race this week from Chester. Let's check out Philo's Hanover. He was the winner in the Open last time out. A hard knocker. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. Total Truth is the better's choice. Sharky Osborne, he's only won five races this year, but he's also won over $200,000 this year, and he's always a threat. Sharky Osborne came away the best with Total Truth and Philo's Hanover. It's Total Truth from between horses with the neck in front as they enter the first turn. Total Truth leads by three parts of a length, and he will clear Sharky Osborne. Philo's Hanover attends the pace third by four. Then it's foiled again around Michael's Marvel. Cam Spool is away second from last, and Arts Rage and Jet will do his work from the back of the pack. He's 11 lengths off leader Total Truth as they continue single file through an opening quarter of 27 and 1. They come past us for the first time, and Total Truth leads the way by a length and a half from Sharky Osborne. Philo's Hanover moves to the outside from third. He is on the attack, and now up to join Total Truth at the front. Philo's Hanover takes over, approaching the bridge turn. Total Truth is relegated to the pocket spot. Sharky Osborne stalks from third. 
Foiled again has moved within four and a half lengths of the lead. Cam Spool is saving ground to that one's outside. Michael's Marvel and Arts Rage and Jet remains last of all, but is now within seven and a half of leader Philo's Hanover. The half was 55 seconds even. Up the backstretch, Philo's Hanover continues to lead by a length and a half. Total Truth tracks intently from the pocket spot, and Foiled again continues to advance first over. Sharky Osborne is locked in. Michaels Marvel is gapped second over. Three and a half from the front. Arts Rage and Jet is behind stale cover. And Cam Spool is locked in at the 5 16 They're covered by just four and a half lengths. And it's Philos Hanover by three parts of a length. Foiled again, inching ever closer on the outside. Total Truth will await the open stretch. Three quarters in one, 23 and one. Approaching the top of the stretch, it's Philos Hanover just by a head. Foiled again is still right there. Total Truth awaits the open stretch. And fanning wide for the drive, that's Sharky Osborne inside the 150. Philos Hanover is surrounded. Total Truth at the inside, foiled again. And Sharky Osborne, widest of all, Total Truth up the inside. Harness Racing's newest double millionaire. I shall not tell a lie. Total Truth, it goes over $2 million for his career winnings. You remember when $2 million was a lot of money? Yeah, yeah, well, it's still a lot of money. Yeah, well, <laughs> well it's for me anyway. <laughs> uh, he wins in 151-3. and three. I have to give a plug for my best friend, Tommy Kugel, mm -hmm. takes care of Total Truth. And actually, Tommy is going to, or well, he does take care of one of the Breeders' Crown winners we're going to see later in the show as well. Ooh, so, you're teasing the, yeah, the viewers. Yes, yes, yes. And you know, it's really weird. Huh. I saw this. Okay, there's Total Truth taken care by Tommy Kugel, trained by George Teague, driven by Tim Tetrick. Is that like Tea Mania or what? I'm detecting a pattern here. <laughs> we talked to Jimmy about this horse. <laughs> well, you guided Total Truth to a huge milestone, you know, $2 million now in career earnings. And uh, tell me about the race a little bit. You know, I just uh, I put him in a Ford uh, off the gate and uh, put him up front, and I got covered up by Philo's Hanover, and, you know, I got a perfect trip. And my horse responded well off that. Now, I love, love, love this horse, but then again, I'm a spectator, and I'm not driving him, so tell me, what's it like to be in the sulky with Total Truth? Well, he makes you earn your money. He, he only gives you what you ask from him, and he's uh, actually kind of lazy, and uh, he doesn't really try that hard all the time, so you really got to make him work, and you got to keep on his butt all the time. Really? Wow. Well, you know, I'm not a fortune teller, but I have a really good feeling we're going to see you later on in the show, so uh, don't go anywhere. All right, thanks. Thanks much, Tim. Stay with us when we come back. We're going to be with Sonny the Paddock Judge, and he's going to talk to us about nutrition. Excuse me? Yes, nutrition. What do horses eat? Now, you know what horses eat, right? Um, Black people. people. Uh, eat people? <laughs> <laughs> they do eat people. I suspect it, but I wasn't sure. Sometimes they try to. <laughs> when we come back, stay with us. Mohegan Sun Off Track Wagering brings the action to you. See your favorite teams on our giant screen TVs. Enjoy great food and fun. And the hottest horse racing action from across the globe. Get on down to Mohegan Sun Off-Track Wagering in Allentown, Carbondale, Hazleton, or Stroudsburg. Downs Off-Track Wagering. Eat. Play. Win. And a quotable guy. Why do so many winners ball. travel in EB trailers? They love the ride. EB Paysetter Trailers deliver your horses in peak condition, ready to race every time. Designed to provide safe and comfortable transport for standard bred racehorses, EB's Paysetter Series Trailers are the preferred choice of professional standard bred trainers and breeders nationwide. All EB Paysetter models feature custom standard bred options and excellent airflow and aligned interior ceiling to keep your horses fresh and comfortable. Every EB trailer has commercial quality componentry and riveted sidewall construction engineered and designed to stand up to constant and rigorous horse and road use. And a sleek aerodynamic nose design that also delivers improved fuel savings. More winners ride with EB than any other trailer. EB, setting the pace in standard red horse transportation. <laughs> 